Hello everyone. So today I want to share all of my beauty favorites for the year. So I have literally my desk is full of products. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I wanted to share with you. So I'm going to start with makeup. I have 15 makeup items and then I'm going to move into my top five brushes and I'm going to move into skincare, then like body care, hair care, and then miscellaneous. So I am going to start with the makeup and skincare. If you're not interested in anything past that, totally fine. Um, everything will be linked and listed down below for you. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited to share these items with you. These are products that I have just been loving um, and I definitely would recommend them to you. So that is kind of the gist of what we're going to be talking about. I feel like it might be a long one, so I'm going to just go ahead and like hurry up and finish this intro so we can jump into it. So anyway, here we go. Um, I hate that I just did that. <laughs> lip products. This year I have like definitely solidified. I know what I like in a lip product nothing's changing that it is what it is kind of a thing <clears throat> so I have five lip products here that I wanted to talk about and they all serve like a different purpose so first of all for lip balm for a daily lip balm I have just absolutely loved the EOS lip balm um, so I have the blue which is the minty one um, I actually just placed an order at Ulta so I will be getting the vanilla one in too because I just threw something in um, but yeah, these are really, really comfortable. Um, they travel nicely. I like the packaging of them. I think they're pretty just like basic and that's what I like in a chapstick and they don't feel too waxy on my lips, which I cannot stand waxy chapsticks. It just drives me bonkers. So really, really enjoyed that. <clears throat> and for an evening or like a deeper lip balm, the Kapari. Um, so this is done <laughs> and my, um, full one is that I left it at work. So I'm just pulling this one out of my empties. So spoiler alert. Um, but this is the lip love. I think they did change the name to lip glossy. I'm pretty sure. Um, but it's a clear lip balm. You can wear it as like a lip gloss. It's very hydrating. Um, <clears throat> if you're doing like a lip scrub, this feels really nice after it. I put it on every single night before bed usually. Um, otherwise I just, in the winter, I, this is more of like a day to day just because I live in Minnesota and it's very dry out very cold and it's so easy to get chapped lips so really really been loving the Kopari um, lip glossy lip love whatever it's called these days it's just fabulous <clears throat> okay so now for colored lip products I have three here and they're all different like styles of lip products so the first one is a liquid lip now I cannot stand dry lips like I was just talking about um, matte lips I mean, I can like get away with it, but they're not my favorite matte liquid lips. Just I can never get on with that trend. However, <clears throat> the bare minerals liquid lip is just phenomenal. Um, this is the shade boss. I had a sample of this and I used the entire thing up. Um, and then I just recently repurchased this and I forgot how much I missed it. And it's just such a beautiful kind of everyday color. It's basically like a lip cream. Um, so that's a swatch of it there. You'll see that this is a very like me kind of color. It's very comfortable on the lips. It does have long wear to it. Um, but it's not like gonna, it's not gonna stay all day. It's not like you really have to scrub to get off at the end of the day or anything like that, but it's just so comfortable. Think of like the matte, uh, no, 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 no. NYX lip creams, matte lip creams, very similar formula. I think the Bare Minerals is a little bit more comfortable, but I think that is a close dupe. Um, as far as like shade comparison, I couldn't tell you, I'm sure someone on the internet could, but it's a very similar formula. Um, for actual like traditional lipstick, this is from Ulta. It's supposed to have like a little thing on the bottom that shows you like the color, but um, that broke. But this is the pink chocolate. I'm pretty sure that's the shade. I will link it down below. But this is just the perfect me everyday lipstick. It is what I have on today. I'll just slap a little bit more on. Um, very me, just nudie pink, almost like a beige pink, um, but really, really comfortable to wear. It's a cream formula, um, and it's the Ulta B, um, brand itself. It's very inexpensive. I've really been loving it. Um, and there's no, like, scent to it, really. Like, it's not vanilla or cupcake or anything like that for lip gloss nyx butter lip gloss in the shade creme brulee is my favorite still is always will be it's just such a comfortable gloss to wear um so that's it there it's 
opaque enough like you can like make it pretty thick on your lips to have the color but I like this nudie color because it's kind of like your lips but better very comfortable to wear um, not like a not too sticky and there's not any glitter in it which I can appreciate a glitter lip gloss but I don't want that day to day so yeah very comfortable to wear very happy with these lip colors definitely wanted to share them <clears throat> okay moving into the rest of my makeup um, these other two products, they are both concealer type products. So the first one is the Pixi um, Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Now there's two shades of this. I go with the lighter shade, which is like the peach. Um, so this is what it looks like. This is my second jar of it. The first one I almost used up completely. This one I'm pretty deep in there. Like I would probably hit glass probably by the end of the month. Um, so yeah, this is my all time favorite. It really helps with the under eye circle. Um, I use it with a small stipple brush, which I'm actually gonna show you in a couple minutes here. It's one of my favorite brushes, but it just works really great. You do not need a lot. Um, and it just, it just helps brighten and kind of help get rid of the, any darkness, um, dark circles, things like that. The other concealer I just absolutely love is the NYX HD Concealer. Now for me, I'm a very fair gal, um, and I use the shade Fair. Imagine that. <laughs> but it's just a really like nice concealer. It's nothing fancy. Um, to be honest, I don't like a super full coverage under eye. I mean, I don't want too much crazy darkness. I want it to be a little bit brighter, but I don't need like shape tape. That's just not my everyday go-to. So those work really well for me, especially that they're both... Um, drugstore easily accessible and don't like totally break the bank okay moving on to like coverage face coverage items so my favorite foundation I discovered this year I've already purchased a second one is the cover FX power play so sidebar I have combo oily skin um, and it's very congested I don't have as many like actual pimples I mean I still get them um, but not like I used to now it's just more like blackheads and just feeling like I have clogged pores um, this is a medium coverage foundation. It works really well. You can build it up easily. Um, it is in a plastic container, which I like. I travel for work, so um, I don't have to worry about it like breaking and shattering and just like foundation all over the place. Um, <clears throat> it comes with a squeezy kind of applicator, so you just like squeeze however much, which I really like because then you're in control and you can choose how much coverage easily. Um, so yeah, really, really like it. If you aren't familiar with Cover FX, their shade range is phenomenal. So they have a pink, neutral, and yellow undertone, and then kind of like how MAC does it with numbering. So like, for example, I'm at N10, and I am a true neutral undertone. Um, at any time I have a pink foundation, I look incredibly pink. Anytime I have a yellow foundation, I look incredibly yellow. Like I've always been on the hunt for a neutral foundation, which can be very hard to find. And Cover FX has just nailed it. Um, it works really well with my oily skin. I just can't say enough great things about it. That would be like my ride or die. <laughs> Um, the other product, which is one that I discovered over the summer, is the Sunbum Mineral Tinted. This is SPF 30. Um, <clears throat> I can't remember. I think they have a couple of shades. I'm not certain how many. Maybe like three? Mm. But it's just a tinted SPF. Um, it kind of has like that silicone feeling, which like for me with oily skin, I was like, ooh, I don't know about that. Um, but if you let it actually just sink into your skin for about five minutes before you powder, it actually, you know, kind of settles and becomes a little bit more manageable. I absolutely love it. Um, it's a great SPF for day to day. Um, easy to wear, easy. I just use my fingers and apply and just rub it in. It's really great to have that kind of an option. Um, so yeah, super, super big fan of this one. Definitely will repurchase as it is SPF. I will have to replace it a little bit more frequently, but really, really loving it. It's great for like just quick, like I'm running late and I just want to slap something on my face. I don't have time to do like my entire skincare routine, <clears throat> but at least it has sunscreen and a little bit of coverage in it kind of a thing. Um, speaking of powders, my all time favorite, you guys probably know is the Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. It comes in this beautiful packaging. I prefer the loose version. It is a white translucent powder. It does leave a little bit of a white cast, I will say. So you have to either really blend it in, um, or if you use a damp beauty blender, I've noticed it's not as bad. Or if you use a setting spray right after that can help too. Um, so just like sidebar, but, um, it just is the best powder. It lasts all day for me. I do not get oily. Um, I just absolutely love it. It's very fine. I really like the packaging of it too. Like it's not like so big of a jar. Um, I just, I'm a big fan. Have been for a long time though. <laughs> 
Okay, moving into like eye products, my favorite eye primer is the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. Um, this one's almost done. I get it at Target. Um, it's like under $5. Really, really great eye primer. Um, an eye primer for me lasts about eight to nine months, um, which I think is great. I don't think that you need anything crazy for an eye primer. It does what I need it to do. It keeps my makeup staying in place, um, <clears throat> and it's very smooth. It's not like too gritty of a texture. Sometimes I find eye primers to be gritty, but this is not like that. And it's just my favorite. So happy to have that. I did repurchase another one because I'm almost out of it. For mascara, um, my all-time favorite is the Essence Lash Princess. And I, excuse me, I like the one with the green writing. Um, so this is the false lash effect. I have tried the purple and the orange. I think they're good mascaras. This one just happens to be my favorite. Um, I like a voluminous lash. I have it on today with like a ton of glitter. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. It's not a crazy wand. Um, it's a natural bristle brush. It's not too big of a wand either. So you can like really get in there if you want to. Um, <clears throat> I find that it is ready to go right away like you don't need to let it dry out for a week or two it's just like foam ready to go absolutely love it I get it at Ulta you can buy like two packs of them um, and then put like your 350 off coupon towards it but they're under five dollars each anyway just absolutely love it I mean I've tried a couple of other mascaras but like why would I pay more for a mascara when that one's so good you know what I mean um, just two more makeup products. So the next one is the Too Faced Natural Eye Palette. Now this was the palette that I panned this year. I mean, I say panned loosely because I didn't do any updates, but I did use it very consistently. Um, this palette has been a favorite of mine for a very long time. I am a neutral eyeshadow lover. I think this palette is a great starter palette. I think it's one that can be a staple in your collection. I like the small size of it. Um, it comes with nine eyeshadows. I'll show you inside in a second. Um, I just think that this is a really great eyeshadow palette for someone wanting to try high-end makeup. Um, it is a smaller palette, so it's a little bit cheaper too. I mean, I'm sure Too Faced has raised their prices because I feel like all palettes have gone up in price, but it's still cheaper than like a Naked palette or an Anastasia palette. Um, and I just think that this is a really, really nice. I traveled with it. I like used and abused this guy, you guys. Um, <clears throat> so this is what the inside, it comes with a little mirror, which I'm just going to flip down. And then these are the shadows. So I have pan on five of them. Yay me. Um, so there's a matte white, a like champagne shimmery shade, a nice kind of like lighter mid-tone brown, a little bit of a deeper mid-tone brown, this kind of like brownish, almost like a little bit of like purpley um, shimmery shade, a gold, and then a variety of browns here, being, um, the darkest being a like chocolate matte brown. But I just think this is a great palette. You can get um, a few different looks. I mean, it's not like anything crazy, but it's just really great for every day. Um, and being that that's the kind of palette I like, I have a special place in my heart for this one. Um, and I just wanted to mention that. So <clears throat> there's that. And then my last product is a highlighter. Um, kicking it old school, Becca highlighter. Um, this is the shade Moonstone, which I find is a great fit for my skin. I know that they have opal, which is kind of like almost a white but I almost feel like that's too like stark on my skin. I really, really like this. This is like a white gold. Um, it's not like too terribly crazy. It's super, super beautiful, finely milled. Um, that's a swatch of it there. So it just catches the light. Obviously you can like share it out with how much you blend it, but I think it doesn't accentuate any texture really. Um, you can definitely build it up if you wanna be seen from space you can do that but you can also make it pretty subtle I do have it on today um, they also make this in a smaller size which I will be repurchasing this one I um, am going to declutter it in the first quarter of next year because it's hitting five years for me and I just personally don't feel comfortable holding on to powders that long um, so I probably will get a small size of it because that's more achievable for me to actually like use up because that is a lot of powder in here I've seen people do it just for me that's like a lot <laughs> So that's another pro. Okay, that's all the makeup. I'm going to take a little water break here. <clears throat> Target, cute, right? Um, okay, and then I just wanted to talk about my five favorite eyeshadow brushes. So I have them in my cute little cup here. They are dirty because I did like just do my makeup and use them. So like, sorry. Side note, my favorite um, soap to wash my brushes with is the Dr. Bronner's Bar Soap. I also do have the liquid soap to help with my foundation brush to like really get in there. But um, yeah, that's my favorite like soap for washing your brushes. Okay, I don't know why that was so hard. Favorite foundation brush. 
Sigma F80. <laughs> I didn't know the number. Old school, just a flat top kabuki. I don't think that you need to go Sigma. I think you can find this shape and style of brush pretty much anywhere these days. But I just absolutely love it. I think the synthetic fibers are really soft. Um, and it just really helps. I can kind of stipple with it to build up more coverage and I can also kind of swirl. I can sweep. I can do a variety of motions with this to get different coverage layers and I just really love it. And, um, the Sigma one, I will say I have two of these just because like, obviously I put foundation on every day and these can get gunky pretty fast. So I have two of them that I'm, you know, working through during the week. They wash really well. I haven't had any issues with losing like bristles. So I really would recommend um, the Sigma one. But again, you don't have to go with Sigma. Okay, the other brush is the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush, which is what I mentioned for the Pixie. Hold on, it's right here. This little guy, the Pixie Under Eye Brightening Corrector. Um, I just dip it in there once and I stipple under my eyes and maybe dip a little bit more. This is also really great for concealer, blending it in and stippling it. Again, stippling versus swiping can get you different coverage, and this is a really great little shape um, to get under there. I also have two of these, um, and they're e.l.f. I think they're like $3. They're really, really nice. I have seen them at Target. Um, I know for sure at Target. I would check other places where e.l.f. is sold because this is a pretty staple brush for them. Okay, the other face brush I have is the Real Techniques Blush Brush. However, I use this for bronzer. So I just swirl my bronzer, tap it off once, and then I just do the perimeter of my face. I do also contour, which I use a more like um, defined brush for, but I think for bronzer, for me, I just like a sweep of it, and this is a really great brush. It's very, very soft. Um, it's not too firm. Like it has enough flexibility for you to just kind of wisp it. Um, and I think based on the shape, it is like a true like kind of dome shape that it's easy to pick up um, powder without it being too concentrated on any side. So really, really love that. Definitely would recommend it. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like kicking up dust. Um, two eye products so, or eye brushes. The first one is my eyebrow brush. Um, so this is the Anastasia 14. Um, so it has a spoolie on one side and then a little angled brush on the other. And it does come with a little cap for this. I just have it off to the side right now. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I have used plenty of other eye brushes, um, for like your brows and they've all broken on me. So I did, um, invest in this, oh, I don't know, maybe two years ago now and it's hold up. I mean, when you wash it, it looks brand new. So definitely would recommend, I think it is worth the money getting a nice quality eye brush, um, eye brow brush. So there's that. And then my last one, excuse me, is the e.l.f. Professional Eyeliner Brush. So it's a flat tip um, eyeliner brush and I am the type of person that likes to set my eyeliner with eyeshadow so this is the brush I use to do that I can just kind of stamp it on I also have used this with gel eyeliner in the past and it works great it's easy to clean um, it's a nice sharp edge there and it's like a dollar um, so definitely would recommend those brushes if you are looking for any um, I think they're all worth it um, and yeah so those are the makeup brushes to go with my makeup favorites Whew. okay we're moving into skincare I only have five skincare products that I want to talk about the rest of these I only have like five products in each category but the makeup I just couldn't narrow it down you know <laughs> so for skincare I have a few products that I just have loved and really have seen them work for me so the first one is something that I travel with this is my cleanser um, I also use this at home um, this is the yes to tomatoes clear skin detoxifying charcoal two-in-one scrub and cleanser stick so here's how it works the top screws on which is great because then you know it's staying on and then you have your cleanser here and it just screws up from the bottom like any other stick would um, I get my face wet. I just quickly dip this under and then I just go ahead and put it all over my face, put it down, and then I let my fingers go to work. There are very, very, very tiny, tiny, tiny um, scrubby granulars in them. I don't know exactly what's made of. It's not like any of the little beads or anything. Like it is a natural, it almost feels like very, very fine sugar. Um, but it's great. I haven't noticed any. Um, like any areas of my skin and getting too sensitive with it it does kind of lather up nicely I just really love it again it's in a stick format so when I'm traveling I can bring this into the shower with me I can just have it at the sink it's very um nice that way you also don't have to pack in your liquids bag like 
hello. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've just really been loving it. I've used it since April and I still have a ton left in here. So it definitely also cuts down on the waist when you're like squeezing out a cleanser, you know, um, because it does drip through your fingers and this just is goes directly on your face and then you scrub it in. So really, really love it. Charcoal works really well with my skin. Again, oily skin type here, acne prone. It just works really well, but they do have other formulas um, that's not charcoal. Okay, the other product that just like has been a game changer for me, well, I've been using this for a while, but this is the Derma E Overnight Peel as AHA. So this is the serum I use. If you have any sort of texture on your skin, this will take care of it. Now, if it's like pretty big texture, it might take like two to three nights for it to take care of it, but it will take care of it. <laughs> so um, I use this. Mm, every other night if I'm really having texture issues I'll use it two nights in a row and then one night with like a more like moisturizing and nourishing serum just because I find when I use this night after night after night sometimes it can kind of make my skin feel a little tight which is unnormal or unusual for me so that's why I kind of like alternate it but it is a vegan product soy free cruelty free Derma E is just a really really great brand it's not too crazy expensive you can find this on sale on Vitacost and on Ulta like pretty periodically so I would just kind of hold out for a sale um, but this is a really nice product it comes in a pump it's kind of like a cream gel texture um, like it's pretty easy to just kind of smooth around it's very thin once you do get it going it kind of has a little bit of a fruity scent, but like not overly crazy. It's just really, really nice. Um, and I love, I just, I find it so helpful and I absolutely love it. Okay. The other kind of like acne product I've been using is the Lush Grease Lightning. So this is tea tree and aloe gel. My skin absolutely loves aloe gel. Aloe vera is very nourishing for your skin. Um, and the tea tree I also have used on my skin for pimples in the past and it's very effective. So this like combined the two. And I heard um, Amy Lynn, um, Amy Sattler now, she just got married, talk about this for years and I finally gave it a try. It's like actually, it's 1.5 ounces. And this will last you forever if you're only using it for spot treatment. But she was talking about it recently and she summed it up so well that it, clears up your acne it might take a little bit longer than other products but it clears it the right way you do not get as dark or as large of a spot afterwards you know when you kind of get that hyperpigmentation around a zit and then like the zit's gone but it looks like you still have a mark this really helps reduce that um, because I feel like it's nourishing healing and you know helping that spot go away but like in the best way possible instead of just drying it up and leaving with this crusty mark afterwards so yes it might not be as fast acting but if you want your skin to look nice right after and deal with a pimple maybe like an extra two days I'd say this is worth it so take that for what it is um but I really like it um okay the other product this is one I discovered this year so I had a mini size of this and I just recently purchased this full size this is the herbivore lapis or is it lapis I'm pretty sure it's lapis oil um this is so great. I seriously use three drops. I put one on my forehead and one on each cheek. That's enough to cover my whole face. I love the way it smells. Oh, it's so good. It has blue tansy in it. It's really great for skin balancing, but also for helping with redness and just soothing your skin. I absolutely love it. This is the last step in my skincare routine every night. Um, and I do have a little travel size that I've finished up, but now I'm like starting to refill it, you know, for when I travel so I can, like, I don't have to be without it. But really, really beautiful product. It is kind of expensive. Um, wait till there's a sale, but um, definitely worth checking out if you have combo oily skin. The last skincare product I have is a face mask that I've loved forever. So I want to mention again, this is the Andalou Naturals, which they got new packaging. How cute. Um, pumpkin honey glycolic mask. So it definitely smells pumpkin-y. This is the consistency of it. Um, so it's kind of like a gel, but this will go into your pores and just get everything out. Um, the first couple times you use it, it might tingle a little bit until your skin like kind of gets used to it, but it's really great. Um, I use this maybe like once a month. I have other, I try to mask once a week and I have other masks that I have in rotation. So that's why I'm a little bit down, um, with this. But if you are having a like big problem with blackheads, a big problem with texture, this 
and this are going to be your best friend. They really do work well. This also helps brighten your skin. I just absolutely love it. Again, Andalou Naturals can be found through like Vitacost, Ulta. Um, wait for a sale. You can always find it cheaper than like the actual price. Even checking on their actual like Andalou Naturals website has better deals sometimes. So those are my skincare picks. I hope you guys liked them. Let me know if you've tried any of these products so far. And if I still have you watching, thank you. <laughs> Okay, I am going to go into hair care. <clears throat> My favorite shampoo has turned into a shampoo bar from Lush, the Karma Koba. Um, so I cut mine in half because it's a little bit easier for me to use in the shower, but this is what it looks like. It is green. It just does wonders. Um, you get your hair wet and you just kind of rub it around your hair, um, get it wet again, and then you can lather it up. It provides a really nice clean. There is a little bit of like a hydrating element to it too though and I just really love the way it smells so definitely the Lush shampoo bar for my conditioner I've been using a um, mask um, so this is the Shea Moisture this is a different one this is the Manuka Honey one um, all of them are great I think but they come um, just in a tub like this nothing crazy I don't wash my hair every day um, obviously because this is the situation I end up with, but um, yeah, this is really nice. I just apply it to my ends and it's really helped keep my ends relatively healthy. I mean, I still style with heat and everything, but relatively healthy. For my after shower, um, I have just loved the Shea Moisture 100% Virgin Coconut Oil Leave-In Treatment. This is my second bottle. It's really great. It's a very thin liquid, but it definitely helps detangle. And um, it does say it controls frizz, and I do think it helps. It's not like the end-all be-all, but it does help. Um, and it can just really help get the comb through your hair or whatever you're using. So this has definitely been a must-have for me. And then my last product is I've gone back into dry shampoo and Batiste. Well, okay, first of all, I bought a ton of Batiste at TJ Maxx a couple years ago, so I just have a million bottles. But it's really great. I love all the different scents. How I use dry shampoo is I put it in my hair the night before. I let it sink in overnight um, and then I style my hair. If I forget to do it overnight, I'll style it and let it sit in for at least 20 to 30 minutes and then go ahead. You'll find that you won't have the white cast in your hair because it's actually absorbed the oil. You have to let your dry shampoo have enough time to actually do the job that you want it to. Um, so yeah, that's my feedback there. <laughs> Last product for my hair is the um, Turby Twist. I love this. I travel with one of these. So this is like a little hair turban. I'm sure you guys have all seen it. Um, you just throw them in the wash periodically. I like this for when my hair is wet, but also if I'm going to shower but not wash my hair, I'll throw it up in one of these. And it keeps your hair protected and dry. And it's just very comfortable. I don't think that shower caps are very comfortable. I find them always like sliding off my head. So this is what I do when I'm taking a shower and I don't want my hair to get wet. Obviously, like I try not to go directly under the water, but um, this also really helps absorb the water in the little like spray before it can even hit your hair. So definitely recommend you can buy like two, three, four packs of these online and at Ulta. <clears throat> okay, we are cruising you guys. We just have body care and then miscellaneous. We're, we're doing it. Body care. Okay, let's talk about the shower. I, again, Lush come through for me so I really like the naked shower gel so this is one that I ordered online um, this is like one of the ones that they have out right now so it's a purple oh, it smells so good it's got a lavender which I'm normally not a lavender person but this lavender is okay it comes with like black wax at the top which I just kind of peel off so this is what it looks like when you get it from Lush obviously if you don't have it ordered you wouldn't come with any of this packaging but what I do is I cut it up into slices and I put them in a Tupperware <laughs> um, and then I just take one of these and then this is what I use in the shower and then when I use it up I grab another one this is um, a scent from last year they as long as you keep them covered in like a Tupperware like this they stay really fresh um, in like moisturized. I do have some of the older formula. They are a little bit more creamier now like this one. Um, the older formula is still great. still works. It just crystallized a little bit because it has seaweed in it but still great. Um, and that's what I've been using solely on my body in the shower and I absolutely love it. It's again travel friendly because it's not a liquid. You see a trend here <laughs> but also it's just really nourishing for my skin. Sometimes if I overdo it it can feel a little bit dry 
But that leads me into my favorite lotions. Hello, what a great transition that was. Okay, in the summer or daytime, my favorite lo lotion is the Jason 70% Aloe Vera Soothing Body Lotion. It's really not scent, it's like an aloe scent. Really great, comes in a pump. Um, I think this is a great lotion just to have in your bathroom for anyone. Um, and it's really lightweight and it sinks in fast. I mean, like, if you've ever put lotion on in the morning and then you go to put, like, skinny jeans on and it's, like, a nightmare, this isn't like that. So just keep that in mind. At night or in the winter, um, I like a deeper lotion. So this is the Coconut Body Butter from Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's has other scents as well. Like, they have a pumpkin one in the fall and they have a vanilla one in the winter. I need to go get a couple vanilla ones. But it has a flip top here. You can also unscrew the top. Um, it's just a really nice formula. It's very rich. Like a little bit goes a long way. Um, like even that is a little bit much. <laughs> but I really, really like it. Um, it's made with coconut oil, shea butter, and vitamin E. And it just feels nice. And I put it on before I go to bed. And I can still feel it in the morning. I mean, not like greasy feeling. But like I just feel like good and not tight or anything like that. Okay, the last body item I have is from Lush. This is the Lemony, Lemony Flutter Cuticle Cream, or Cuticle Butter, I should say. So it's a thick, um, kind of like salve, um, and it's yellow, and it smells like lemon, and it's fabulous. I use this on my heels every night. Um, between my toes in the winter, I get dry skin, random, um, and then also around my cuticles. Um, if you have like dry elbows or dry el um, knees, anything extra dry, this would be really great on. I really, really love it. I do see a big difference when I use this versus when I don't. It is a little bit pricey, so um, you know you don't want to like slather your entire body in it, but it's very rich and it's a beautiful product. Um, definitely would recommend if you have these little black containers after a while, if you save them up, like clean them out and bring them back, then you get the free... Um, Lush face mask. So you can also order this online if you don't have a Lush near you. Um, it is self-preserving. You don't have to worry about keeping it in the fridge. So that's also really nice. <clears throat> okay, you guys, we're just down to miscellaneous. Oh my God. Yay. <laughs> so I have um, nail care. So really, I didn't pick out any colored nail polish just because I haven't really, I don't know. I haven't bought anything new for a while. I'm just using what I have. I probably will have to pitch some of my nail polishes next year because they're just getting a little bit too goopy, like past the point that thinner can, you know, fix it. Um, but yeah, I don't really have any colored, but I do have some other nail products. This is my favorite nail polish remover. It's the Zoya Remove Plus. Um, Zoya will do a sale where they you can buy a big size, like half off or something crazy like that. And then you can just refill the bottles. Otherwise, Ulta sells this as well. Um, it comes with like this flapper bottle. So you just put your cotton around here and push down, which I really, really like. I think that's really nice. But this is a really, really great remover. I mean, on a cotton ball, I can just pump down twice and get all 10. As long as I don't have like a glitter nail polish on, it's just a traditional like cream polish. I can get it all off. It's just really nice. It's super effective. It doesn't like dry out your cuticles too much. It's just my favorite. I won't buy anything else. Um, okay, for my top coat and base coat, I previously was using the Glisten and Glow. I think the Glisten and Glow top coat is my all-time favorite. However, you have to order it online. <sighs> and <coughs> I just am not always motivated to do that. So I also really like the Orly um, item. So the Bonder Rubberized Base Coat is my favorite base coat. And then I did get the Polished, Polish Shield, sorry, Polish Shield, All-in-One Ultimate Top Coat. These are a great pair. Like I said, this is my favorite base coat of all time. And then the Glisten of Glow is my favorite top coat. But if you're looking for a top coat, you don't want to order online. If you're at Ulta, pick this up. It's a great, great, reliable one. Um, it's not too thick. It doesn't get gloopy halfway through like the Sesh Vite. Um, yeah, really would recommend those. They're nice. They're accessible. Okay, the other two like random items, I have a perfume. So this is the Tom Ford Black Orchid. I love this. This is such a nice winter and fall scent. That's what I'm wearing pretty much every day, but it's really, it's pretty strong. So you only need like one, maybe two spritzes. It's just so good. Um, I will link it down below so you can read the notes, but I just wanted to mention this is my perfume pick right now. I still, my like signature scent is the Dolce Gabbana, Dolce Gabbana The One. I've been wearing that for years. It is me in a bottle, but I also have been enjoying um, switching it up with a secondary 
perfume. Okay, and the last item is my toothbrush, which I know is random, but this is my random favorite, so it's fine. Um, I went to Quip this year. I absolutely love it. I have the gold one, um, so it is a electronic or yeah, electronic toothbrush. I also really love Steri Pods. If you don't have these, you should. It dries um, and it keeps everything off of it. It just, uh, yeah, it clips on. Okay, anyway. What you can do is you can buy either a monthly subscription or not monthly quarterly subscription or like I just bought everything all at once for the year. So every three months they mail you another brush head and because um, you are supposed to switch out your toothbrush every three months. So it's nice. You can just pop this off, put your new one on. You're good to go. Um, and they remind you so you don't have to rely on yourself. <laughs> but it just takes a triple A battery. So it has it here and it just goes ahead and, you know, vibrates and you can do your thing. The brush head has little rubber bits on the outside. I'm not sure if you can like really tell. And then it has the normal bristles in the middle. But the um, rubber ones are nice because it's still like, you can still brush your gums and everything, but it kind of protects it so you're not like really like bringing up blood, you know what I mean? Um, and then it also has like a little guy on the back. It's like little rubbery. So if you wanted to like do your tongue with it, you can. I have a separate tongue scrubber because I just do, but yeah, I really like it. Um, it does come with like a holder to keep it upright on uh, like a traveling case. I just use my SteriPod, um, so, and I travel with it, but I like it a lot. Um, I always have this like in my carry-on bag because if you ever get stuck at airport, it's just like one of the smallest luxuries is to brush your teeth, I'm telling you. But anyway, <laughs> the I've done that a few times. And every time I do it at the airport where I'm in the bathroom brushing my teeth because I just like need to, I'm always, oh my God, your toothbrush is so chic. And I'm like, well, you know, I am fancy. You know, I joke. But um, yeah, there's a variety of different colors. Definitely would check it out. It's a great little gadget. Good like gift, you know, like if you have like a dad in your life and you just don't know what to get him, try this. I mean, don't maybe not the gold. I don't know. But yeah. Okay. I'm a little bit delusional, I think, <laughs> but those are my favorites. I hope you enjoyed. Oh, wait, 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 I have one more, one more. I'm so sorry. Reusable cotton rounds. I get them off of Etsy. I've had these for years, you guys. I just throw them in the wash. Um, I take off eye makeup with them. Do not use them on nail polish. You can't get that out, but serums, micellar waters, whatever you need a cotton round for that's not um, nail polish related. These are great. I will link them down below. Okay, now I'm done. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what your favorites are. Or if you have a favorites video I can go watch for the year, I would love to. And yeah, if you stuck around to the end, double thumbs up to you and I will see you guys in my next one.